ending last season with a big win over its southern in-state rival, Nevada's late momentum is likely to carry on well into the new year, with 16 returning starters back to guide the pack. Hi, I'm Cassie Soto inside the Mountain West Network studio. Here's what you need to know as we count down to kickoff with the Nevada Wolf Pack. For a team that started off 0-5 a year ago, the Wolf Pack picked up speed towards the end of the season, winning two of its last three games and finished as one of the top scoring offenses in the Mountain West, averaging 32.4 points per game. With a year of head coaching experience under his belt, Jay Norvell looks to keep up the energy from a program that has seen bowl berths in 10 of the last 13 years. After the first year, we're really able to identify the areas where we need to improve and make changes. And, and then we get to practice everything over again. So I just think that familiarity with our players uh, gives them more confidence, better execution. And I think we have an offensive team that showed great progress in the conference games. We were one of the highest scoring teams in the conference. And if we show that similar type of improvement defensively, we should see some results in, in the scoreboard. Guiding an air raid offense that finished first in passing in the Mountain West is senior quarterback Ty Ganji. The six foot two, 215 pound QB has secured his position as starter after capping last season with a 60.9 passing completion percentage while racking up 2,746 yards for 25 touchdowns. While his arm strength gave him the ability to throw deep, his speed led him to four touchdowns on the ground a year ago. He's a great teammate, he's a great leader and really you know, earned the right to be our quarterback by the way he prepared himself. When we got to the conference games, he really found his groove on throwing the ball down the field and deep. And, and when that happens, it opens everything up for your passing game. And so I'm really excited. I got, you know, plenty of weapons to use out there. And so, you know, my goal this year is to kind of take complete control of it and be able to call things at the line and, and adjust to different stuff so that we can put ourselves in the best situation. Coming back to lead the defensive charge is senior Damian Baber. A dynamic force for the Wolfpack, Baber became just the third player in NCAA history to score three times in one game, including a Mountain West record 100-yard interception return for a touchdown against San Jose State. Baber also recorded 94 stops and had one and a half tackles for loss a year ago. What makes Damian, Damian is uh, he's fast, he can cover you know, sideline to sideline, uh, he, he can come up and hit as well if you need him to. And uh, man, he's just a great guy, good to get to know. And he's kind of mild mannered, you know, say too much, but you'll see him make a play when he, when he touches the field. Damien, he, he's a tremendous uh, talent, uh, really great acceleration, um, and a real threat when he does get his hands on the football. Looking at Nevada's schedule, the pack is set to host some of the toughest Mountain West opponents at home. Fresno State, San Diego State, and defending Mountain West champs Boise State will all make their way to Mackey Stadium. I think the teams that are coming in are very entertaining. You can't help but get excited when you see our schedule, and, and I think it's going to be great. Um, there's a chance for there's a lot of games to be rocking and rolling in, in Reno. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. You know, I think our community, our fans will come out and support us um, with those big games. and. You know, it's always more fun playing big, big games at home. Coach Norvell came up as an assistant teaching receivers. He's written a book, The Complete Wide Receiver. And so it's no surprise that this season the receiver core is super deep and super talented. McClay Mannix, an All-American as a freshman, is back for year two. Caleb Fossum injured in the season opener at Northwestern. Very talented. Remember, he transferred from Washington State. He's looking to bounce back and have a huge contributing year. And Brendan O'Leary Orange is the third locked in starter of that group of four. And then the guys that could fill in that final starting spot, 
Travion Armstrong, 12 catches, 120 yards, four touchdowns last year. Dayon Henley, also productive, 103 yards, three touchdowns a season ago. Plus, Elijah Cooks could also work into the mix. He's a great athlete. He had only two catches last year, but remember, he also played for the basketball team. So the receiving core is super exciting this year. And, of course, Malik Reed on the defensive side, already an established star and all-league talent. He will play linebacker, and that might free him up to specialize on the pass rush a little bit more. They'll move him around to find mismatches on the defensive side. So those are the two really exciting areas as we round into week one. Thank you, John. Nevada kicks off the season hosting Portland State on Friday, August 31st. This countdown to kickoff has been brought to you by Mountain America Credit Union, the official credit union of the Mountain West. From the Mountain West Network Studio, I'm Cassie Soto.